Rick Perry, was confirmed yesterday to lead the Department of Energy. Um, get this, he was approved with 62 votes. 62, which means uh, not only did some Democrats vote for him, many Democrats voted for him. So, uh, who are those Democrats? Well, we had Mark Warner, Joe Manchin, of course, he's a given, Heidi Heidkamp, Tom Udall, uh, Catherine Cortez Masto, Debbie Stabenow, Claire McCaskill, John Tester, Tom Carper, Joe Donnelly, and uh, independent Angus King, who caucuses with the Democrats. Um, 62 votes, Rick Perry is now in charge of uh, the Department of Energy. He leads the Department of Energy. Hey, by the way, did you guys know the Department of Energy is in charge of our nuclear arsenal? A bunch of Democrats just voted to put Rick Perry in charge of our nuclear arsenal. It's like we live in a bad dream. A nightmare, that's what it is. It's a nightmare. We live in a nightmare. How can you do that? Rick Perry? Okay, Rick Perry famously said, I want to eliminate the Department of Energy. I can't... When somebody admits that they don't believe in a given agency, that's it. There's no further discussion. I'm not going to pick you to lead that agency. I mean, think about it in any other context. If there was somebody who was a police officer who said... Uh, look, I don't, I don't believe in policing. I don't, I don't think police should exist. How would we all react if somebody said, oh, we're going to pick you to lead the department? We say, what? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. He just said, he just said he doesn't believe in it. Why would you pick him to lead it? Well, I don't know. And then the Democrats vote for him too. It, <sighs> try this for, try this at your job. Go in tomorrow and say, look, I know, I know, I know, I know I'm supposed to have that um, accounting report on your desk tomorrow. Here's the deal. I don't believe in accounting reports. I don't believe in them. What are the chances they say, how about you head uh, the department? <laughs> Zero. What are the chances they say you're fired? A hundred percent. But in government, somehow everything's backwards. In government, yeah, I don't believe in it. Oh, we're going to pick you to lead it. And the Democrats are going to roll over like the little punk bitches that they are. This is so sad. And of course, this is on top of all the awkward. I mean, look, it doesn't. It's irrelevant that he was on Dancing with the Stars. OK, but he was on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> like this is where this guy's mind is. There was speculation. Now, I'm not going after him for this. I feel bad for the guy. But there was speculation and it seemed pretty merited that he had he had and maybe still has an addiction problem that he got addicted to pain pills. Uh, see, this all seems pretty important and a lot of these things, maybe not the pain pill thing, but the, the fact he doesn't believe in the agency seems like a disqualifying thing and never mind the fact that he's really not smart. I mean, what was it? Obama picked like some Ivy League genius to lead the Department of Energy. Why? Because you probably should have some fucking really, really smart person running it. And the, Trump picked one of the dumbest fucking politicians in the country. <sighs> I can't, man. This, I mean... Mm. Rick Perry with 62 votes. <laughs> Justice, Democrats, uh, people, like, you know, some people get mad at me, like, oh, I bring it up too much. What do you want me to do? That's the fucking answer. The answer is Democrats with backbone. The answer is Democrats who are not corrupt and who are principled and who will fight. We have, at a time where we need stronger Democrats than ever, we have the weakest Democrats ever, to the point where many of them vote for Rick Perry to lead the Department of Energy. What is there to gain by voting for him? There's nothing to gain. Again, even if, it, it, oh, fuck, we couldn't win, you know, he, Rick Perry ended up getting through. 
why not apply pressure and fight because you know he's not smart and you know we shouldn't have this position and doesn't believe in the agency. Why not fight and maybe chip away and get... It? He passes with 51 votes. Why not do that? <sighs> I'm so angry. Rick Perry and Ben Carson approved for top government positions in the same day. <laughs> and the Democrats are... It's like the, that cartoon, the This Is Fine cartoon. This is fine. This is fine. It, it's good. It's good. We just voted for a fucking crazy person. Uh, but it's all right. Don't worry about it. Mm, Rick Perry. Rick Perry's totally qualified for the job. This is fine. <sighs> You're going to keep losing elections if you don't stop snubbing your base. Rule number one of politics is don't piss off your base. Rule number one in the Democratic Party is piss off your base. There are many other states that embrace those conservative uh, values, the, the, the approach that we've taken over the years. I'm in one today in Florida. You look at um, South Carolina. You look at Florida. I know, and I said that. I'm in one of those states that reflect those today in, in, in Louisiana. Yeah, I got that. But to, but I'm from Texas, so let's start there. You can stay in the old system that's out there. And, and Senator, you know, the, the ones that want to stay in the old system, pay the lawyers, pay the accountants, all that money that's gone, are that. 20% flat tax, put it on there, take your deductions off, send it in. The good news is that little plan that I just shared with you doesn't force the Granite State to expand your tax footprint, if you know what I mean. Like 9% expansion. I love Herman. Is he the best? I mean, I get to I have fun with him. He is a great and interesting guy. And thank you, Herman, for helping pay for the event tonight. I grew up on a farm. I grew up, <laughs> I grew up on a farm. The coolest thing happens. I roll in here and I get to meet a real life angel in the farm of Christopher Duffley. And then I get to meet a real life hero in Catherine Adair. I mean, I mean, like my life today has been awesome, girl. He was on the side of against the Second Amendment before he was for the Second Amendment. Was it was before he was before the social programs um, from the standpoint of he was for uh, standing up for Roe versus Wade before he was against verse. Uh, Roe versus Wade. Uh, he, he was uh, for race to the top. Uh, he's for Obamacare, and now he's against it. And I will tell you, it's three agencies of government when I get there that are gone: commerce, education, and the uh, uh, what's the third one there? Let's see. <laughs> Com you need five. Oh, five. Yeah, okay, need so five. commerce, education, and uh, the um, um, uh, EPA. EPA. There you go. No, okay. Let's talk. Let's talk deposition. Seriously. Uh, is EPA no. the one you were talking about? Or? No, sir. No, sir. We were talking about the. Um, agencies of government. EPA needs to be rebuilt. But There's you no can't. Doubt about but you that. can't name the third one. The third agency of government. Yeah. I would. I would do away with the education. Uh, the uh, <laughs> commerce. I, I, commerce. And let's see. I can't. The third. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. 